Hello friends, welcome to this video of Introduction to Euclid's Geometry. In the last video, we discussed about Euclid's axioms. Today, we will see some questions and answers based on axioms. Let's start with the question, is the given statement true or false? In this, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. And triangle PQR is equal to triangle MNO. According to Euclid's first axiom, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Hence, triangle ABC will be congruent to triangle MNO. And the statement is true. Is this statement true? The area of square ABCD is more than the area of square EFGC. From the figure, we are finding that the square EFGC is a part of the square ABCD. By looking at the figures and according to Euclid's fifth axiom, we know that the whole is greater than its part. Therefore, this statement is true. Is the given statement true or false? If P is equal to Q, then half of P will be greater than half of Q. According to Euclid's seventh axiom, things which are halves of the same things are equal to one another. Here, P by 2 is equal to Q by 2. So this statement is false. Is this statement true? Read the statement carefully. Ravi has the same amount of money as Avni. Ravi bought chocolate for rupees 5 and Avni also bought chocolate for rupees 5. Now both of them have the same amount of money left. Euclid's third axiom says that if equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are equal. Ravi and Avni had an equal amount of money. They spent an equal amount of money. Then surely the remaining amount of money left with them will also be equal. Therefore, this statement is true. Is the given statement true or false? Angle FGH is not equal to angle HGF. If we look at the figure carefully, then both these names represent the same angle. According to Euclid's fourth axiom, things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. Therefore, these two angles will be equal. And so, the statement is false. Friends, that's all in this session. Today, we saw some questions related to Euclid's axioms. See you in the next video. Thank you.